Good evening, YouTube. This is Green and My Tears coming to you on Green TV, also known as Katrina. So tonight I have a show and tell, and then I'm covering the Amy Butler Weekender Travel Bag and a Surger Cover. So first I'm going to talk about the Amy Butler Weekender Travel Bag. So what I did is I made this travel bag back in January, and I completely sold everything together. And the only thing I didn't do to complete the bag was... So the exterior to the interior. So I had asked one of the ladies that works at Joann's to do it for me. She was like, no, you should do it yourself. And once I told her I wanted to practice my hand sewing, so she really encouraged me to go ahead and hand sew it myself. So what I did this past weekend is I hand sewed the exterior to the interior back. So first I'm going to show you the fabrics. I mean, first I'm going to show you the pattern cover. And this is an older pattern older pattern cover because they do still have this pattern out but this is the older pattern cover because I got this um, some years ago and I'm going to just read you a little bit of the description um, it says it's a four, the finished size is 14 inches wide across the top of the bag so that's a, a, across this part here and then the uh, 17 inches wide across the bottom and it's 14 and a half inches tall and seven and a half inches deep so this is a really nice big bag. So first I'm going to show you the fabrics that I use. And this is the exterior fabric that I use. And I got this fabric from one of the ladies at my church. She gave me a whole bolt of this fabric. And this is the second item I've made with this fabric. The first item I made, I made a small tote and I sold it at a craft show. And this is the coordinating fabric that I got from Joanne to complement this color. And see how they complement each other real well? And people say, you have a good eye for fabrics, and so I guess I do have a good eye for fabrics. So, let me show you the tote itself. So, this is the tote itself, and I hand, I did a machine embroidery, and it says Lady K, and the, one of my neighbors where I used to live at, he named me Lady K, so it stuck. So, the, first, let me show you the inside part, where I actually had to hand stitch the lining to the, the exterior to the interior. So, this is what it looks like. I hand stitched all of this all the way around the bag and so this is the bag itself so it has a front panel and I lined it with the with the same fabric and it has side pockets so I'm gonna put bottles or my lotion or something right here and the, here's the other back other side so it has so this is the back and this is the front and then it has some nice long handles and let me show you the inside of the bag So this is the inside of the bag, and I used that same panel that was on the outside on the inside, and what I did is I sewed down the middle so I can have two pockets, so one pocket here and one pocket there. And I didn't put a pocket on this side here, but that's the bag in itself. So last night, no, Saturday and Sunday, yesterday, I made two accessories to go with my bag. And the first accessory I made to go with my bag was this little pouch. And I'm going to put my toiletries in this. And it's really cute. And my daughter, she made herself one. And I made you a cosmetic bag with this using the same technique. So this is what it looks like on the inside. And I put a little piece of the fabric as my pull for that. And then I made me a drawstring bag exterior fabric interior fabric and I just made me a drawstring out of the fabric itself to keep it coordinated keep it coordinated so last night we were just up around just you know fiddling around the house and I went to the back to take the old my um my, my new old serger to the back to bring out my newer serger that I got years ago and the cover this is what I'm talking about the cover part <clears throat> so this is this I made a serger cover for my surgery. So this is, I cut it in pieces so I didn't take a picture of it before, but this is the reason why I need to make a surgery cover. Because I melted with the iron. <clears throat> so this is like one of the side pieces. So basically this pattern has two pieces. The side panels and then the whole body. So what I did, while I was at home yesterday, I made this pattern piece. And I just traced it like so. 
and I add a half an inch seam along surround and then I decided I wanted a pocket because the serger that I got off of Craigslist has a pocket on it and it's, but it's plastic and there's nothing wrong with that so that's why I'm not having made that one and this is a pocket piece to go on it and then while I was at work today I took me some of the dot paper and that's the paper you see here is dot paper and I took that piece took a piece of that to work so I made the body piece and that, that's, this is it right here. I'm not going to take it all the way out. But you get the gist of what I'm talking about. So, I have that. So, I sold it all together. I cut out all my pieces and I sold it all together. Only thing I haven't done is put the... I haven't hemmed it. So, I'm about to show you what it actually looks like on the serger. So, this is my serger. Can you see it? This is my serger, and this is a side view of the pocket. And I haven't sewn the, the bottom part, I haven't hemmed it yet, so that's why you can't, it's not totally closed. So this is my serger cover for my serger. So I'm going to show you the serger cover right now. I'm going to take it off my serger. So this is what it looks like. This is the side panel I just showed you in the pocket I made to go so I can put the power cord in here and I can put some spools of thread over here if I'm traveling with my machine and also because on the plastic one it tore right here and I didn't necessarily want to use cotton fabric and then what I did is I used some felt fabric and the felt is more is to me would be more durable than the cotton and then I wanted to cut a cut a step I mean I didn't have to make a facing so I didn't have to make a facing all I had to do was measure the cut where the handle is on my serger and make it a hole right here so I can just pull the handle out and just carry it and it'll be all covered. So now all I have to do, as I was saying, is this is the inside. So I didn't serge, I didn't, excuse me, I plan on serging this all the way around and sewing it and hemming it a half an inch because I put a half an inch seam allowance on everything so it can fit, fit comfortably on the serger and I'm really pleased with how it came out and People would like, oh, what did you do? What did you do? People like to see what I'm, projects I'm working on when I'm at work. And, yeah. So, I really like that surgery cover. And it looks stylish. And I didn't want to just put it green. I was also going to embroider on it. But I'm like, I'm not about to take it over the top. It's just something real simple and something basic that I wanted to do. And it gave me something to do. Because I'm always trying to find cute little somethings to do um, around the house. So, that concludes my show and tell of my Amy Butler Weekender travel bag and my surgery cover for my surgery. And I pray that everybody had a blessed day today. Know that God loves you. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and have a blessed evening.